Hey everyone, so I've made it back. I've uh, arrived back in Cyprus yesterday after being uh, in Qatar for the last eight weeks at work and uh, it's hot, needless to say. I thought Qatar was hot but Cyprus seems to have a funny sort of hot so I'm feeling hot hot. Not to worry, I'm in the dome. Uh, it was 38 degrees C uh, which is 100 Fahrenheit uh, when I came in here this morning so I've opened up the door and the shutter and uh, let a bit of air come through. Uh, the ventilation kit is running but uh, it's just sun beating down all day on it and it's built up a bit of temperature and that actually brings us on to the first job that I've got for the dome this time home and that's to add in a, a Natatmo uh, weather station so I actually have a Natatmo system already uh, on the house and I've decided to put uh, a secondary system uh, into the dome uh, so this is the kit it comes with an indoor unit uh, that can measure temperature, humidity, pressure, CO2 levels and sound and it also comes with the smaller outdoor unit which is for uh, temperature and humidity. So I'm going to be sticking that up in the, in the dome and just outside the dome and uh, I can monitor obviously how the, con the conditions persist over time and it is uh, Apple HomeKit and Alexa capable and you can write all sorts of scripts and stuff for it so we'll see if whatever I can do with that and uh, I also bought this little extra uh, off of Amazon uh, it's just a weather enclosure for the outdoor sensor and yeah, you can just mount that on, or I'll mount this in the back of the dome uh, and I'll stick the outdoor sensor in there so this is the first job I'm going to do and we're going to get on with that right now so opening up the box, what have we got? Very straightforward, nothing to it. As I said, we've got the larger uh, out, uh, indoor sensor, just plugs in with a little micro USB and it comes with a little power brick. And then the outdoor sensor, uh, that takes uh, two AAA uh, batteries and seem to last a long time. Uh, but I think uh, I'll probably modify this one down the line uh, so that I can power it permanently and don't need to change batteries uh, but I'll do that another day and then just inside uh, a little box of accessories we've just got the power brick and a European plug so I've got an adapter here for Cyprus and then a couple of screws for mounting uh, velcro crit, uh, Velcro, uh, Velcro band and a couple of AA batteries, eh, AAA batteries, sorry. So that's that. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go and mount the uh, outdoor sensor uh, to the back of the dome using the weather enclosure. So let's head out there now. Alright, so this is us at the back of the dome. So previously uh, we mounted the sky quality meter here and this is the rain sensor for the shutter. And what I've decided to do is put the weather station uh, here at the back corner. And the way the slides up, the cover slides off the, the mount, it means I can still get it off here and it doesn't uh, cause me any obstruction uh, when moving around the dome. So it should make it uh, easily workable uh, if I need to do anything on it. And if I do put a permanent cable, I can bring it in through here uh, with all the other cabling. All right, so let's get the uh, enclosure mounted. Perfect. All right, let's go and get the sensor inside. Okay, so this is the outdoor sensor. I've put the batteries in, and when I first put the batteries in, this little green light, uh, you won't see it now, it's gone off, but the little green light was flashing at the bottom. And I've plugged in the, uh, the indoor weather station, and it's, you can't see it in this light here, but it's got a green flashing uh, strip uh, up here. 
so it's looking to be connected uh, to the system. So to do that we'll hop over to the laptop and we'll continue the process there. Okay so here we are at the, the TACMA website. Now I've actually logged into my account. Now this is my existing uh, weather station uh, for the house and you can see down here you've got the various sensors, so the, the main station, uh, in the kitchen, the living room, table area which is the outside shaded area uh, and then I've got also the rain sensor and the wind sensor up on the uh, seating area. Now you'll see that the uh, Vines Wind's got this question mark here and that's because the battery ran out while I was away offshore and just left it. I haven't changed it out yet. Okay, so I'm installing a new weather station. Hover over settings, sorry, settings, and install new products. And we're going to go smart home weather station. Now, first thing I'm going to need to do is uh, download the setup wizard. Now, if you do it on your phone, uh, you don't need to do this. You can just do it on your on the Intatmo app. But seeing as I'm doing it on the laptop, we can do it through here. Okay, so we're just opening up the wizard. There we go. So we're connected. We're plugged in. We click next, and we connect the weather station's USB port. Okay, so I had the uh, a cable off of my Nikon camera. I think it was uh, that's plugged now into the uh, weather station, the base station. And as you can see there, it is now doing a firmware update. So we'll leave that to run. Okay, so it's just doing a reboot of the base station. Okay, so now you can add it. To the house network. And we will connect. Okay. So now that we've set the Wi-Fi up on the weather station, we just need to assign it, associate it with my uh, normal account. On the and that is it now connected there. So we can click finish and we can plug it back into the normal power brick for the weather station and let it boot. So let's do that now. Take out this cable I had. And put the power brick back in. So now we can see up on the top here. So it's got Cypress Villa Kitchen. So that's the original weather station. All right, it's teacher Dave here. I just realised during editing that uh, when I was talking about switching between the weather stations that you couldn't actually see what I was talking about because of where the webcam was sitting on the screen. So uh, this is the Natatmo uh, web page and in the top left here just under the Natatmo header uh, you can see this drop down box here where I've got the existing uh, house uh, weather station and then the observatory uh, system. So that's where we can now uh, manage my home once I've selected the new settings. And this is where I can then set it, its name to observatory and everything. And it just takes a lot of time uh, for all this to uh, synchronise across the Tatmos website. All right, that's it. Back to the original Dave. Okay, so having selected the my home indoor module which is the default settings we can go across to settings drop down manage my home and then click the three ellipses at the top and we can rename it so let's call it observatory 
and confirm. And we've got the indoor module. And we can do all the various configuration there, get the firmware updates and all that sorts of stuff there, which is good. So that is it. So next up, we just need to pop the outdoor sensor uh, back into the enclosure. So to do that, this is the base from the weather unit. This is the outdoor sensor. It's just going to sit on here. And to do that, I am just going to use the Velcro tie that came with the uh, came with the weather station. So that's that. Just tuck this in in there, and I can go and put this in the enclosure. All right, so here we are back outside, and here's the enclosure. And it's simply going to be a case of, you can see the Velcro just holding it onto the base, popping it inside. And locking it in place. And that's it done. And that also means that I can take it off should I need to. job done. All right then, so that was just a very quick installing the Natamo weather station onto the observatory and uh, in the next video we'll get back to doing some more stuff with the actual uh, equipment. So my first plan uh, for this time home is I'm going to actually be taking the Edge 11 uh, out of the observatory and I'm going to be putting the uh, RASA uh, into the uh, observatory and uh, to accompany that, uh, I'm going to be sticking the RASA onto a new mount as well. So that'll be up hopefully in the next video. So until then, thank you very much and we'll see you later.